Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a drastic weather pattern change that'll be impacting the United States over the next seven days and this is going to flip our weather entirely from cold and wet weather to warm and dry weather across much of the United States with a couple of twists. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the Midwest, which has been a pretty interesting area over the past 24 hours. Obviously, it's been pretty cold. It's been very cold because of the wind, especially. But we've been watching a little system come out of Canada, and this is still spinning over Chicago right now. And it's actually bringing some snowfall and even a little bit of lake effect snow. And we've actually seen a little bit of thunder snow. So some very interesting stuff there. Now, if you've seen any thunder snow or even seen a water spout, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear if you've seen anything like that across the Great Lakes. But it's been a pretty interesting little region temperatures are much warmer over the lakes and much colder over land which is kind of creating this little dynamic setup that we have right now now further down to the south and east we still have some colder air that is arriving in the parts of the southeast united states here's your frontal boundary it's gonna be moving into florida tonight and over on night tonight and tomorrow so some interesting weather coming there more just cold weather more than anything so that shot of cold air will be arriving there as we go into tomorrow and as well as into thursday over in the great plains it's pretty calm right now it's actually overall very calm we don't really have anything actually happening other than just sunny skies the only exception really being the northern plains a little bit of cloud cover there but again nothing really too crazy over on the west coast of the united states it's actually kind of interesting this is going to impact our weather across the entire united states as we go into this weekend and into next week because we have atmospheric rivers that are ongoing we're going to talk about more on that later in this forecast but it basically means it's very active over in the pacific ocean and it's really going to alter our weather across the entire country as we go into this weekend and as well as into next week here's what it looks like on the uh, the radar right now across parts of the midwest again we do have some snow currently ongoing maybe even a little bit of thunder snow over the great lakes this will transition a bit more closer to lake erie so if you're in northeast ohio or potentially northwest pennsylvania you might hear a little bit of thunder snow don't be shocked that would be anywhere between now and potentially about nine o'clock tonight might even leak in closer to midnight but overall the chances would be lower after midnight tonight and by tomorrow morning this snowfall is really going to be pretty minimal maybe a little bit of lake effect snow still remaining here are the watches and warnings across the United States. There's a lot of them, and a lot of them have to do with the freeze warnings and watches that we have ongoing. Here are your freeze warnings. They extend from Texas back into Virginia. And then your freeze watches that are in effect from New Jersey back into even close to the Florida panhandle. It's a huge area, and it's pretty shocking to see this this early into the year. This also includes parts of uh, Louisiana, by the way, like southern Louisiana. It's kind of blocked out, but that would be also the area that's included in those freeze watches. And also, we have some winter weather advisories that are in effect parts of northeast ohio and also around the great lakes that's due to the lake effect snow potential that will exist all the way into tonight and also into early tomorrow morning temperatures for tomorrow morning this will be by far one of the coldest mornings that we've seen all uh really fall and also for the last six or seven months so obviously very cold weather notice the freezing line will extend all the way down into parts of central louisiana getting close to the florida panhandle which again is not very usual for this time of the year we will be challenging record-breaking low temperatures in parts of the southern plains for tonight so don't be surprised by that at all obviously it is surprising for this time of the year but one of the coldest halloween uh, nights that we've had in quite a while over on the west coast of the united states it's gonna be a bit more mild there temperatures in the 50s going to thursday morning a little bit different we actually will have another chance for freezing temperatures that will potentially even get into the florida panhandle there's a small little sliver of blue there that's possible back over in parts of the florida panhandle so be monitoring your local national weather service because that will definitely be a chance over there now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next seven to ten days. And to look at that, we're going to look at the jet stream, which is your upper level wind dynamics. And right now we have an upper level disturbance that's over the Great Lakes. At the surface, we have a low pressure system as well that's over basically, again, the Chicago area right now, bringing some snowfall. Now, this is the trough here. It is a positively tilted trough. That is pretty typical. Those usually do not bring any crazy severe weather. Now, we do have a ridge that's back over near California. Again, this is in the upper levels right now. There's also a ridge in the upper levels that's down here it's actually further down to the south and east but it's back over in the atlantic ocean so again some dynamics there by the way very strong jet stream planes that are flying in this jet stream are going like one to 200 miles per hour faster because of how strong these winds are and we were talking upwards of almost 200 knots which is just insane really strong tailwind there if you're a pilot as we go into wednesday things are going to start to change the trough moves out it's going to become very dull though overall in the jet stream we're really not going to see any materialized weather patterns by per se 
Um, the only thing that we'd be looking at is maybe a little cutoff low back down in maybe Mexico, but it's really not going to do much and it's not really going to impact our weather here in the United States. More than anything, we're going to have such a dry period overall, no big low pressure systems, that we will have a strong surface based ridge and this will start to increase the temperatures across much of the United States as we go into the weekend. Now, by next week, this is when things become uncertain. By, by Monday or Tuesday of next week, we could see a pretty large storm. Notice this trough here. This is actually negatively tilted, at least that's what the European model is showing. Still about a week out, so things definitely could change. But one thing we're going to have to watch for is potentially a pretty large storm. And if we get a negatively tilted trough, that could impact the tornado risk and potentially just the overall severe weather risk. So something to really watch for as we go into next week. But by no means is this something to be concerned about it. More than anything, really, the next five to seven days is more about the warmth and also maybe that storm as we go into next week that very well easily could bring at least some severe weather. Now, I mentioned this earlier, but we were talking about the atmospheric rivers that are occurring west of California and how those are playing a factor in the weather pattern across the majority of the United States. Well, notice back over northwest of California, there are three, yes, three different low pressure systems. And these are going to bring heavy rainfall primarily to western California, but even parts of the northwest United States will see this. Notice these low pressure systems by Saturday into Sunday. They're just kind of making landfall there. And why is this playing such a factor? Well, overall, we're not going to see any major storms coming in to the United States, at least through the rest of this week, because of these low pressure systems kind of just circulating over here. They're going towards some warm air infection. That's going to kind of be over here in the western part of California. Then as we go into next week, we'll have to watch things closer to home because we'll probably at least get some storm activity by next week. But the remainder of this week will likely be much calmer and also much drier for much of the United States. Here are the temperature anomalies for the next several days. So again, well below normal temperatures will continue through Thursday. By Friday and a Saturday, warm air will return turn and by the way as we get closer to monday we could be talking about record breaking high temperatures so we're going to flip the script a little bit record breaking low temperatures tonight to record breaking high potential temperatures as we go into next week again just crazy weather here as we go into november uh, as we go into next week though by wednesday to thursday there might be a cool down for much of the eastern tier of the united states that is contingent on there being a big storm which i'm going to show you that right now so over the next few days high pressure dominating across much of the lower 48 as we get closer to sunday into Monday. That is when we'll have to watch the potential for some showers and maybe some storms in parts of the Midwest. But by Monday into Tuesday, that is when a big low pressure system might develop. Again, this is very uncertain. By no means is this definitely going to happen. Things are bound to change as we are still six to seven days out. By Tuesday, we might see a pretty big storm in the Northeast though, and this could also bring some snowfall. We are getting closer now to winter, so this is going to become more frequent where we are seeing more of these winter weather events. Then after Wednesday of next week, things become very uncertain. And even then, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Monday, all those days are pretty uncertain right now. So stay tuned. We'll keep you posted with the latest details if anything does change. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not already.